Hi, my name is Carolyn, um, and I'm a mom of a boy with a rare disease. And basically, I'm here today to give you a challenge. Next Thursday is February 28th, World Rare Disease Day, and we want you to show your stripes. All of the challenge is going to be in the description below, but we dare you and your family and your classroom and your office Anybody that you choose to share this with, um, we dare you to wear stripes next week. The reason we're asking you to do this is um, the theme this year is just like every zebra has its own unique stripes. Every rare patient is unique. Um, their struggles, their victories, um, they all have their own story to tell. We challenge you to support their stories. It can feel very alone when you have a rare disease. There's more than 7,000 different rare diseases in the world that all have their own unique challenges. Most of those don't even have a treatment, okay? 80% um, of them are genetic in origin, just like my son's. So uh, if you wanna double dip, wear your stripes, but also wear some denim. Um, help us raise awareness for all of our little zebras in the world who need to know that they're not alone. And believe me, when kids like my son, when anyone with a rare disease sees someone who doesn't have one supporting them, knowing that there are people out there who care, uh, means the world. There's your challenge. Go forth, wear your stripes, um, post pictures of it on social media with the hashtags that I put in the description below. Uh, that will help everybody find it. So for those of you who are sticking around, um, a little bit of a background as to why this day is so important to us. My son was diagnosed with Hunter syndrome almost four years ago. We got together with some of our um, support group last year and we did a video uh, featuring my son, which those that'll be in the link too. Please go check it out. You can also check out his Facebook page if you want more background. Um, and how we got to that diagnosis, how he's doing and everything. But that loneliness, that rare feeling hadn't really hit us until this year when we needed to switch pharmacies for his weekly home infusion. We had to leave our previous company for several reasons. And when we were trying to find a new one, things just didn't fall together right away. It didn't matter if our doctor wrote urgent. Um, it didn't matter if we called, if our doctor called, if our representative at the pharmaceutical company called. We just kind of got pushed off. We heard a lot of no. No, that drug's too rare. We can't get it. No, it's too expensive. We can't fund it. And we missed a week of his weekly infusions. And then we missed another and another. And we ended up missing a total of almost five weeks before everything was worked out. Um, around week three, we found the company that we're now working with. And for the first time in three weeks, we heard someone who wanted to help us, who wanted to get the medication so that they could start his um, treatments again. You know, other than obviously us and the doctors and our support group. Everybody there wanted this drug. Five weeks later, we are working with another amazing team and he's getting his medication again. And the support that we felt from our family, our friends, our doctors was unbelievable. And I don't know how we could have gotten through that without them. It was hard. It was really hard jumping through all those hoops, trying to get my son medication and having people go, oh, we can't do it can't do it. We can't do it. And just brushing us off when you know that your son's life depends on the medication. So that's why this day means so much to us. Because in years past, it was, we're not alone. This year, we know we're not alone because we had so many people walking through this 
a stressful month with us. Um, but we also know now what it must feel like for all those people who don't have a treatment. Very few rare diseases have anything that could be close to a cure. But we're one of the lucky ones. We have a treatment. So always in our heart are the other people with rare diseases. The other people who aren't so lucky. Who aren't so blessed with the doctors that they're surrounded by. And we just want to say thank you to all of them because they're incredible. Um, thank you to everyone who has prayed for us and supported us through this. And please, if you can, wear stripes next week. Help bring awareness to all these kids that don't have the ability to speak up. And they don't have the ability to say we're worth it. It's a very simple thing. Just wear stripes. Yeah. Get everybody you can think of to wear stripes. We fill the world with stripes. You know what? Everyone's going to ask, why are you wearing stripes? Well, because the rarest people in the world, it's their day. And they deserve a day. Um, check out the links below. There's a link to um, Nord's website with more information about rare diseases. There's some other info down there. Uh, there's a link to my son's Facebook page if you're curious. Um, there's so many kids, adults even, out there in the world who need to know that they aren't invisible. So, wear stripes. Thanks.